now we start with a pole press paint by state feedback part 2. In this we will study design of state feedback controller using pole press paint approach that is state transformation and once we study this approach uh, we will going to solve one numerical example. Now design of state feedback controller using a pole press paint approach that is state transformation. Last time uh, we have solved a system or we saw one uh, example. In that example, we have seen that the our given system that is x dot is equal to ax plus bu, y equal to cx. In this case, this A matrix it is in companion form. That is, if you write this gs g of s 1 upon a square plus a 1 s plus a 2 this can be written as 0 1 minus a 2 minus a 1 and b is say 0 1. So, we will find that if the if you give us the system is represented by a transfer function or a matrix it is in companion form then we can directly uh, determine uh, we can directly design a controller. So, controller design is possible if the if the given system it is in transfer function form, but now the there is a problem assume that this system it is not in transfer function form or a it is not in a companion form because the advantage is that if you see system is in companion form we directly write down the any characteristic equations. For example, if you write say if you write a system matrix A like this minus 1, minus 4, minus 3 say 1. So, if the matrix A like this if you want to determine this lambda i minus A then here actually we have to solve it, but if the given system matrix it is in companion form we can directly write down the characteristic equations that is for example, for this case 0 1 minus a 2 uh, minus a 1 your characteristic equation is say lambda square a 1 lambda plus a 2 equal to 0. So, that means, the, if the given system matrix it is in companion form we can directly write down its characteristic polynomial. But here if the matrix A like this we cannot write down like this and uh, other thing is that we have a desired cast equation. So, desired cast equation it is also in terms of uh, uh, lambda for example, if you take uh, desired eigenvalues as as say lambda 1 and say lambda 2. So, these are desired Eigen values. So, here this can be written in terms of cast equation as lambda square So, here we will find that the desired Eigen value like this. So, we can write down in terms of cast equation. So, companion form cast equation. So, there is a direct comparison and when this direct comparison is there we can we can design a controller. So, this particular part we have seen last time. But there is a problem when in the given system matrix it is not in companion form. So, in that case how to do it and then again one other thing is that the given system must follow the controllability test. So, in order to have a given system matrix into a companion form that means, some transformation we have to use. So, along with the transformation we have to go through the controllability test. So, now we will study the method by this method we can design the controller controller in which the controllability test is al has also been checked. Now, we will see the method how to design this controller by means of this state transformation. Now, our problem is x dot equal to a x plus b u this is a plot. Now, the control law which we have seen last time that is u equal to minus 
के सी एक्स प्लस आर नाउ दिस इज योर कंट्रोलर एंड एजूम दैट ए इट इज इन जनरल फॉर्म इट इज नॉट इन अ कंपेरिजन फॉर्म देर फॉर दिस एक्स डॉट इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी के सी एक्स प्लस बी इन टू आर एंड वॉट वी वॉन्ट दिस गिवन सिस्टमैट्रिक्स इट शुड बी इन अ कंट्रोलेबल फेज बिल फॉर्म दैट मीन्स इट हैज टू गो थ्रू सम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लेट एस से इफ यू यूज अ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन जेड इक्व टू टी एक्स दिस गिवन सिस्टम कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू कंट्रोलेबल फेज बिल फॉर्म so that control level phase variable form like this z dot equal to 0 one 0 0 0 0 1 0 here 0 0 0 1 and here minus an minus a an minus 1 minus a1 this is z Plus zero zero one. So by means of this transformation, it can be converted into a, a controllable phase variable form. Now about this transformation T, that means here for J equal to T X, this T can be represented by T one one. T one two to T one n here T two one T two two T two n to T n one T n two T n n. Now this particular portion, particularly this particular row, this row and this row. Can be represented by T one, T two, and here say T n, and here this T i, this is T one, T two, T n, that can be represented by T i one, T i two, T i n, and where i. Is varying from one to up to n. So J involves the state variables. X is the state variable, but whereas X is our original state variable, J is the transform state variable. And this transform state variable has been carried by T. And if you do these transformations, you will get the given system matrix in the companion form. And, and we have seen that if the given system matrix is in the companion form, we can directly determine the Cauchy equations. So we have desired Cauchy equation. We can easily compare it, and we can get the results. So that's why here for this case. We have done some transformation ap approach because our A is not in a, a controllable phase variable form. So now here we have written equation like this. So now here the states in Z that is represented by Z one T, Z two T, Z n T, n states. Now here this is a transformation T. And state say in terms of time t x one t x two t say x n t. So now here there are n states that is z one z two z n and x state x one x two x n. These are the original states. These are the modified states. Now what we'll do? We'll take the first state z one of t. So this z one t. Z one of t, we can write down as this t as a transformation matrix that is t one one t one two t one n. So it can be written as t one one into x one of t plus t one two x two of t plus t one n x n of t. Equal to t one, 
into this x of t. Now, here we have a first state that is z 1 of t equal to t 1 into x of t. Now, we have seen that there are different states. So, if you want z 2 what we have to do we have to take the, the derivative of the that state. So, what happen if you take z 1 dot of t that gives you z 2 t. So, here we take the derivative on the both sides. So, we will get here z 1 dot t equal to t 1 into x dot t. Now, here t 1 into x dot t and we know x dot t that is equal to a x plus b u. So, we write this x dot t in terms of a x plus b u. So, we can rewrite this as t 1 a x of t plus b into u of t. Now, we solve this equation. So, you will get t 1 a into x of t plus t 1 b into u of t. And now, here z 1 dot t it is a function of z 2 of t and this is basically the function of only x which is a function of x only. Because as we see that here z equals to t x. So, z is only function of x. So, here we, we have got z 1 dot t equals to z 2 t which is function of x only. Therefore, this t 1 b we can consider as 0. So, here we write this t 1 b equal to 0. Therefore, this z 2 of t equal to t 1 a into x of t. For simplicity, we can write this z 2 equal to t 1 into x. So, now we have got z 2, but we want z 2, z 3, z 4 up to z n. So, here we again differentiate these equations. So, after differentiating these equations, we will get z 2 dot equal to t a x dot. So, here z 2 dot equal to t a x dot. So, here t a x dot we replace as a x plus b u and now you solve it. So, t a square x plus this is t 1 t 1 t 1 t 1 a b into u. So, now this z 2 dot equal to t 1 a square x plus t 1 a b into u. So, similar to here as z, z elements are a function of x here also this t 1 a b we can take as 0. So, here we write this as as z 2 dot equal to z 3 t 1 a square x is t 1 a b equal to 0. So, now we have got z 3 similarly we can get z 4 z 5. So, finally, we will get z n that is z n minus 1 dot equal to t 1 a rest to n minus 1 x and here we will write t 1 a raise to n minus 1 to b equal to 0. So, by means of these transformations taking first as a variable we will find that we will get the equations in terms of uh, z and x and other variables we have considered as 0. Therefore, we write this equation as z of t equal to t of x that is x of t. So, here we can write this as this is your x 1 of t, x 2 of t up to say x n of t and here also we have z 1 of t, z 2 of t, 
z n of t. So, you will find that this z 1 of t equal to t 1. Now, here we will get t 1 into a and here we will get this t 1 a raised to n minus 1 into x. So, that means this part we can write as directly t 1 t 1 a t 1 a raised to n minus 1 x and this t 1 this must be must satisfy the conditions that is this t 1 should satisfy the condition as t 1 b equal to t 1 into a b. So, t 1 a raise to n minus 2 into b. So, now by means of some transformations we have got different conditions for we have got the conditions for t 1 and here. So, if we write down this as z equals to t x. So, z dot equal to t into x dot. So, here t x dot is here a x plus b u. Now, here we can write down as t a x plus t b into u. So, this x is a function of z. So, we can write down that x equal to t inverse z. So, we will get t a t inverse z plus t b into u and now this t a t inverse that we can write as a c into z and here b c into u. So, this is a, a z dot and this should be of the form 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 and this process is repeated we can write down as minus a n minus a n minus 1 minus a 1 and b c as 0 0 say 1. So, now here we will find that this is a b c this is 0 0 1 and we have t into b. So, here this t into b the t involved this is the involvement of uh, t 1 t 1 a t 1 a raise to n minus 1 b a, a raise to n minus 1. So, if we compare the equation of b c with respect to t b and see what condition we will get. So, here we can write down as this b c equal to t into b. So, this b c is 0 0 say 1 and conditions of t is so t 1 b t 1 into a b and here t 1 a raise to n minus 1 into b. Now, if you solve it so you will get t 1 b a b a raise to n minus 1 b equal to 0 0 0 1 and hence this t 1 equal to 0 0 1 as b a b here our main purpose is to design a controller and as we discussed earlier that controllability is very much important because in controllability we are transferring the state from initial time to final time. So, you will find that here we are designing the controller in the controller design here we find that this b a b a raise to n minus 1 b equation will come that means if the system is not controllable. So, this part will not exist and a controller design is not possible. So, here this particular part is concerned with the controllability matrix 
that is so here we will find that this t1 depend upon the inverse of the controllability matrix if the system is not controllable so the t1 cannot exist and this qc is like this now we come into the the final equations that what is the final formula of the controller design so now in order to get the final formula now we go to the basic control law so my basic control law says u equal to minus kc x plus r this is my control law till this the process has been done in order to get the uh, your uh, in order to get the controllable phase will form and in the controllable phase will form we will find that here this 0 0 1 the 0 0 1 is compared with the t into b and we are determining the condition for t. So, so these conditions we are determined controllability condition also we have got and now here our purpose is to design the controller. So, here you are written u equals to minus k c x plus r and here the transformation is z into t x now here x equal to t inverse z now the u equal to minus k c t inverse z plus r now this u so this portion we can write down as minus k c m into z plus r and therefore the final control of conditions that is k c m equal to k c into t inverse and f and the final controller k c equal to k c m into t. So, here this k c m which we have shown here this k c m we have obtained for the state z, but our original system is it in terms of x dot equal to a x plus b u. So, when a x plus b u is there your controller is k c. So, k c m is the upper transformation of the state and this because of this k c m or this k c m which we obtain it is the thing but a direct comparison with the companion form, but as original system matrix it is not in companion form. So, that part is taken by this t inverse. Therefore, final controller is k c equal to k c m into t. So, k c a is the thing but the comparison between the companion form and t is the transfer matrix which gives you the, the final controller k c. Now, we know that the eigenvalues are invariant after doing transformations. We have seen that the given system matrix we are converting to into diagonal form then we are uh, seen about the Jordan form. So, different forms are there, but Eigen values cannot change. So, here also after doing the transformation Eigen values cannot change. So, when the Eigen values cannot change it means that property of the system cannot change. So, therefore, what we are assuming that we have a desired Eigen value let us say let us consider consider desired eigen values as as a lambda 1 lambda 2 say lambda n. So, based on the desired eigen values we can write down the cachetic equation. So, the cachetic equation we can write down as lambda n say alpha 1 lambda raised to n minus 1 plus alpha 2 lambda raised to n minus 2 plus alpha n equal to 0. This is our desired cachetic equation. This basically we want and this lambda 1 lambda 2 we knows that means we have fixed it and from this this cachetic equation we have determined. Now, we have original equations that transformation it is in terms of this a c minus b c into k c m. Why this k c m? Because when we are write down 
a state feedback equation as u equals to minus k c x plus r that is with respect to state x, but when we are deals with the uh, we are a state transformation in terms of z instead of k c we have got k c m and therefore, a c minus b c into k c m we are written. Now, if you write this equation as this a c as 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 and here minus a n minus a of n minus 1 say minus a 1 and what is b c? b c is 0 0 1 this is multiplied by k c m as k c m 1 k c m 2 and here k c m n and the after <coughs> solving this you will get equation as 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 and last row will get as minus a n minus k c m 1 minus a of n minus 1 minus k c m 2 and this process repeated will get minus a 1 minus k c m n. So, this product or this result we have got after the multiplication of this with this and subtracting this from the original AC matrix we have got this particular equation. So, here we find that this is our desired cash equations and this particular equation we have got that is after transformation we have got this. So, this particular matrix we can also write in terms of cash equations. So, here this matrix can be write down in terms of cash equation as lambda raise to n a 1 plus k c m n lambda raise to n minus 1 plus a 2 plus k c m n minus 1 plus a n plus k c m 1 equal to 0. So, we will find that after doing transformation we got a c b c k c m and this equation we have solved this we have got in terms of a, a companion form and we have written the cash equations. Now, this particular cash equation we can easily compare with this equation. So, let us say if you write this equation as 1 and this equation we obtain as 2. Now, we compare these two equations you just see the result. So, this is equations and now here I am writing down the equation as alpha 1 lambda n minus 1 plus alpha 2 lambda n minus 2 and this process is repeated plus alpha n equal to 0. So, this is the desired and now this is through transformation. Now, if you compare it, so what we will get alpha n this is compared with this a n plus k c m that means, this equivalent to this that is a n plus k c m 1 and after solving this we will get k c m 1 equal to alpha n minus a n. Now, here alpha n minus 1 that gives you a of n minus 1 k c m 2. So, we can write down as k c m 2 equal to alpha n minus 1 minus a of n minus 1 and this process repeated finally, we write alpha 1 as a 1 plus k c m n therefore, k c m n we can write down as alpha 1 minus a n. 
so now all the values of kcm1 kcm2 kcm3 kcmn we have determined now what is the final your problem is the kcm final controller that is equal to kc into t inverse but our controller is not kcm our controller is kc one or kcm because this kcm we have determined after doing the transformation but our original system in a general form and for the general form we required this kc equal to kcm into t and this kcm if we can write down as kcm1 kcm2 kcm n into t and we have seen la previously this t that is equal to t1 t1 a t1 a raised to n minus 1 and this t1 is equal to 0 0 1 into q c inverse that is control gravity inverse that is i am okay, again write down here this t1 as 0 0 1 into q c inverse so the final controller is this k c into k c m into t so k c m equals to k c m 1 k c m into k c m n and uh, and this particular t is equal to t 1 t 1 a t 1 raise to t 1 a raise to n minus 1 and we have a single t 1 equal to 0 0 1 q c inverse. So, this is the basic methodology to design the controller. Now, all this mathematics we have seen. So, this we can easily understand if you solve some numerical example. Now, we start uh, solving some numerical example based on this technique. So, now our example is x 1 dot x 2 dot x 3 dot equal to 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 x 1 x 2 x 3 plus 0 0 1 into u. Now, the Eigen values of this matrix A, this is matrix A, this is matrix B, the Eigen values of this matrix A are Eigen values of A belong to 0, 0 0.6180 minus 1.6180. We know that Eigen value govern the performance of the system. As this given system matrix A has one Eigen value at origin, one Eigen value on the right hand side, other on the left hand side, the, the, this is the condition. This is origin that is here, second is here and third is here. So, this system is unstable system, but if your Eigen values let us say they are coming on the left hand side of the plane and if they are satisfactory there is no need to design a controller. Controller will design only when there is a requirement just like as if some if the patient is not ill and still is going to doctor and he is taking the medicine so that create a problem. So, we we take a medicine only when we have some problems. So, here also control design we can do only when system is unstable or performance is not satisfactory. For this particular problem, we observe that your system is unstable, performance is not satisfactory, therefore, there is need to design a controller. Now, in order to design a controller, so our formula is this, your formula for designing the controller that is Kc is a final controller equal to Kcm Kcm into t and we have seen that this t equal to t 1 t 1 a t 1 a raise to n minus 1 and t 1 equals to 0 0 1 q c inverse that is controllability inverse. Now, first of all we check the controllability although this controllability effect will come in t that means if the uh, we can say if the system is not controllable the t 1 will itself come 0, but anyway 
uh, we require controllability equations afterward we will now check the controllability of the system. So, the controllability of the system is given as q c equal to b a b a square b now here we can write down as this b as 0 0 1 if you multiply this a b matrix is a and b you will get 0 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 3. Now, if you determine the determinant of this matrix we will found that this is non 0 and therefore, we can easily get this q c inverse as controllability inverse as minus 1 2 1 1 1 0 1 0 0. So, system is controllable therefore, we can design a controller, but uh, if when we design a controller definitely we required where we want place where we want to place the poles and what is our desired performance. Therefore, here for this problem now we decide the our desired poles. So, the desired pole suppose desired poles are say lambda 1 comma 2 minus 1 plus minus j root 3 and lambda 3 equal to minus 10. Now, here the question has come why we have taken the 3 poles because lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 we can take lambda 4 and lambda 5 also, but here why we have taken 3 poles because you find that your original system is of third order that is why we have to consider only the 3 poles. Now, based on these 3 poles we can determine the Cauchy equations. So, the Cauchy equation for this for these poles poles or sometimes we can also call as Eigen values. So, here lambda plus j root 3 lambda plus 1 minus j root 3 plus lambda plus 10 equal to 0. So, all these 3 Eigen values we have considered and now after multiplications of this we will get lambda cube plus 12 lambda square plus 24 lambda plus 40 equal to 0. Now, this is our desired characteristic equations, but our aim is to get the controller, but problem is that this matrix it is not in companion form, but uh, the, to get the values of KCM we have to determine the characteristic equation for the same and then compare it. So, here we determine the characteristic equation for this lambda i minus a equal to lambda minus 1 0 0 lambda minus 1 minus 1 0 1 lambda plus 2 and here after solving this we will get lambda cube plus lambda square minus lambda equal to 0. When the system it is not in companion form we cannot directly compare to get the controller. So, therefore, here as I told earlier the step to be followed about the KCM. Now, KCM is nothing but the cash equation of this and the cash equation of the desired if you compare it we can get the values of KCM. So, here both these equations if you compare. So, what we will get that means, we can write down this as this KCM equal to KC into T inverse and now here this KCM equal to KCM1 KCM2 KCM3 now you see here now here 40 40 value is there but here there is no terms that means the value is 0 so here we will get KCM1 as 40 minus 0 now coming to KCM2 so we will find that this is uh, 24 and here lambda is minus 1 so we will get 24 
minus of minus 1 and here lastly this is 12 minus 1. So, this K C A basically is we have determined from this equation alpha n minus a n alpha n minus a n minus 1 alpha n minus a n where alpha n alpha n are the desired and these are the 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 coefficient of the original cash equations. So, here that is where we have written lambda cube plus lambda square minus lambda this is the characteristic equation of the original plant original system is original and this is the your desired. Now, we have compared it we will get K C M as K C M 1 plus K C M 2 K C M 3 we have 40 24 plus minus 1 12 minus 1. So, if you solve it we will get 40 25 into 11. So, K C M K C M is we have got, but finally we have not got controller. Controller is your K C and for K C we require T. So, now they need to determine the transformation matrix T. So, here K C equal to K C M into T we can write down as this T equal to T 1 T 1 a T 1 a square. So, this T 1 equal to 0 0 1 Q C inverse controllability inverse and we have already determined the controllability inverse like this and 0 0 1 is there. So, if you multiply this 0 0 1 and Q C inverse which we have already determined we can write down as minus 1 2 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 if you solve it we will get 1 0 0. So, we have got T 1, but uh, the T involved T 1 a as well as T 1 a square. So, we have to determine T 1 a as well as uh, T 1 a square. So, if you multiply T 1 into a, so T 1 is T 1 is 1 0 0 as we are determined T 1 like this and again we write the original A matrix as 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 and after solving we will get 0 1 0. Then lastly we require T 1 into A square T 1 into A square that is T 1 A into A. So, T 1 A we already determined. So, we will get 0 1 0 this has 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 and we can get as 0 1 1. So, we have got T 1 a T 1 T 1 a as well as T 1 a square. Now, we have also got K C M. Now, we multiply the K C M with T that is finally, we have got T as 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 and your K C is K C M into T and the K C M which we are determined earlier. So, K C M is 40 25 and 11. So, we write this as 40 25 11 and the T as 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 and after solving this we come across 40 36 and 11 this is controller k. So, this is the basically a controller which uh, can be helped to stabilize the system and we will find that this particular controller take care of all the states may be x 1 x 2 x 3 as here there are 3 states it can control x 1 x 2 x 3. If you are 10 states it also control the 10 states, but if you see the classical part it is concerned with the input and output it concerned with all states. So, if 40 36 11 is nothing but the controlling of all states. So, control input is going through this KC that is your u equals to minus K C x that means, this control input will supply it through this KC into the original state x that means, that here we are controlling basically the states of the system. 
Now, you see the references, the mainly the some portion of the, the proof you will find out here. So, more example also you can point here, here as well as here. Thank you.